And um, you know what I'm saying, I really don't recap one rounders that often because it's not that much material, but I felt like this was an intriguing battle. So I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all my insight on it or whatever. I think that uh, basically first and foremost, um, I like the way bullpen be putting things together. You know what I'm saying? They really on the rise. And um, I like and salute everything John John doing. When, when 40 started rapping, I'm like, man, 40 doing her normal 40 thing. She in her bag, she got flow. <laughs> Going on world it's your boy t main right back at it right back in the attic for another day of this battle rap so you know what i'm saying what we're talking about today is we had a one rounder going on on the bullpen battle league with john john the don it was uh basically 40 bars versus loso and um you know what i'm saying i really don't recap one rounders that often because it's not that much material but i felt like this was an intriguing battle so i'm gonna go ahead and give you all my insight on it or whatever i think that uh, basically, first and foremost, um, I like the way bullpen be putting things together. You know what I'm saying? They really on the rise. And um, I like and salute everything John John doing. When when 40 started rapping, I'm like, man, 40 doing her normal 40 thing. She in her bag. She got flow. She cold. Got the glitz and glamour. She looking good. Everything was going swell. You know what I'm saying? Ford, the only thing I didn't really like was it seemed like the crowd at the bullpen at, at whatever location they had this battle it seemed like they were so close to the battle it was a little bit too intimate in my opinion because it was just like every bar that 40 was saying if she said something that was hot it was just always somebody like ooh, ooh, ooh. and she kept fumbling to get through her words and it wasn't like her fumbling because she was choking or she was not she ain't know what she was saying next or anything like that it was literally she had to keep stopping because she wanted to make sure everybody heard what she was saying she was trying to get her bars off you feel what i'm saying so i ain't really like that but i do like the fact that she did come to play and the bars that she was spitting was causing a reaction like that that's why everybody kept on you know what i'm saying um they kept on applauding and cheering and all of that or whatever and then loso he comes out with his verse he's doing typical uh low soul bars you know what i'm saying fire wasn't bad at all i like what he had um brung to the table and whatnot he had a few lines like the lisa you know what i'm saying uh, and simpsons reference that was pretty cool he also had uh another one at the towards the end about um 40 you always going on 40 um you you like head ice or something like that i thought that shit was fire too so i i basically gave um that battle though slightly to 40 man and it ain't no slight against loso i think loso is dope i just think that um he just he just need to add like one more thing like he was really wigging though don't get me wrong he was doing what he had to do and 40 bars to me just she just like a, a legend as far as the female battle rappers go so it's gonna be hard to body her because she got lyrical ability and they only had one week prep for it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was a one rounder. They had the one week prep. She wasn't choking. She wasn't forgetting her bars. She was coming with the creative material that we all like. Loso followed up. He went second. He had the creative material. He was cold. You know what I'm saying? It was just a good all around battle in my opinion. It was close. But if, if we had to give it to somebody, I had to go ahead on and I had to get out one of the 40 bars on a slight edge because I just think that she had a little bit more, she was just a little bit more interesting to me. Her bars meant a lot more in, in, in like as far as meaning towards him. You know what I'm saying? And, and it was some deep stuff she was talking. Like when y'all get a chance, y'all go back and check that out, man. It's on the Bullpen channel, I'm pretty sure on YouTube or whatever. And um, tell me what y'all think, man. Me personally, I think it's cool. When y'all get a chance though, like and subscribe to my channel. You know what I'm saying? It'll only take two seconds, you know, share this video, comment and everything like that. Man, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what we can do here. Then we, um. We got some interviews coming up on the channel, you know what I mean? I still got I still got YT coming up. I still got Wicked Hayes coming up. I got Lotto coming up. Um, I got the boy Julian. I got a few I got a few interviews in the working, man. Top Flow, we working. And when you get a chance, go ahead and check out my website, Top Flow. 216.com you know what i'm saying and go to the shop section and you can go ahead and cop whatever you want we got hoodies sweaters you know what i'm saying t-shirts bluetooth speakers wireless chargers phone cases like 
Support support the small business, man. We trying to do our thing, man. It's your boy T-Main, though. Right back in the attic, right back at it for another day of this battle rap. 100.